is Welcome to Hard Science, the show where we use just a little bit of knowledge about the world in order to bend it to our whim. I'm Anthony. I'm Tara. And this week, we're going to answer your questions. Okay, Lisa Laverne asked for the steel wool uh, fireworks experiment. Can you reuse the steel wool? No. No, you up. cannot, because it basically turns into rust. Uh, people also want to know if they can do this experiment in a backyard full of dead leaves. No. I wouldn't recommend no. that, no. Elephant toothpaste. So how much does it cost to get these things? Some of our experiments cost a few hundred dollars. Some of them are on the cheaper side with stuff that you can pick up at the store. This was one of the more expensive ones. It, it wound yeah. up running a couple hundred bucks. Reaper679 says, you guys should take a trip to Colorado and play some video games while smoking a lot of weed. Why do we have to go to Colorado to do that? I'll go to Colorado. That's fine. Sounds I mean, like a I'll great come video. With I'm not going to turn it down. Yeah. How and where do you guys get the chemicals needed for your videos? You know, you would be surprised how readily available a lot of this stuff is. Also, yeah. are you the NSA? No, like everything we order pretty much online. Pause2142 asks, I'd like to know what were some of the things that actually worked with the liquid nitrogen barbecue and what were our favorites? All of the hot, the stuff that is typically served hot was a little bit weird. The hot yeah. dog was weird. I love the s'mores. Yeah. The s'mores were good. The dots of ice cream. The dipping dots, yeah. Were good. We had questions about the beer and how was the beer. The beer was cool. I liked it. It was cool. It was it a little weird. A lot of questions about our fake snow episode. Yeah. Uh, what was the cleanup like? We literally used like a shovel and a bucket to get the bulk of it up. And then every, like the little sediment that was left on the ground, which is still in gel form, mm -hmm. we just used a shop back to clean it up. And honestly, like there was almost nothing left when we were done. Non-Newtonian fluid made me look like I am constantly drunk and cannot okay. ride a bicycle. A lot of perverted comments on that one as well, <laughs> which I think we About me riding expected. a bicycle? How to advance asks, uh, the gas is moving out of my ass with the speed of a train while I fart. Does this mean I wouldn't be able to fart while sitting in that bath? Would it, would it harden around you, I guess is what he's asking. I think it would probably, the force would cause it to go back up inside of you and your body would just implode. The speed is not necessarily the whole picture here. There's also force and pressure. So while the gas is leaving your butt very quickly, it's not doing it with a lot of force and it dissipates very easily. So I would say no, it would not cause the non-Newtonian fluid to act like a solid. I didn't know we were seriously gonna answer that question, but I'm glad he you asked a question. It. Okay. I answered it. Our very first episode ever, the hovercraft one. Still Knight asks, would it be possible to make a hoverboard from Back to the Future with this idea? I guess theoretically you could do that, but part of it would still have to be touching the ground. Not enough surface area, I don't think, either. I mean, part of it is is the air pressure, but remember that there needs to be enough surface area to distribute the pressure, distribute a human being's weight, and then lift it. Thank you, everybody, for asking your questions, even the people who ask us to make jetpacks. <laughs> even you have a special place in our hearts. If we didn't answer something, that has been weighing on your mind. We're doing a Google Hangout. Yeah, we are. We are doing it on the 27th at four o'clock Pacific time. That's 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we'll put a link down below, but it's basically google.com slash plus hard science show. RSVP at the link below to let us know how many people are coming so we can buy enough s'mores and liquid nitrogen for everybody. Yes. Hey, buddy. Hi, pal. Science, dog friendly. <laughs> <laughs>